Okay, in uh, today's video, we will uh, see how we can uh, able to do our own uh, steady area map. Uh, as usual, uh, first of all, uh, we have to clear our environment and then we set the working directory in which we save our outputs and read data if we have like had the saved data in our computer then we need to upload or load our uh, i mean packages uh, that we need to perform a given given task so these are some of packages you can look up uh, which package is used for for what purpose in this case then uh, especially like from raster package we can get already existing data of the 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 countries and also the the other ad administrative lower administrative uh, areas like uh, zone region and up to up to word level giving only the level uh, starting from zero uh, to four. Zero is if we would like to have data at country level and one is if we would like to have at regional level and, and respectively up to four for, for the word level. Then we need to get data as uh, SF for, for the plotting case now we are interested only data at a regional level because our our uh, steady area uh, includes like or cover of regional uh, uh, regional area in this case so we have like ET uh, but our interest is to have a Sedama region which is recently became a uh, region uh, it has in half data for regional level then we are interested also the data at zona level using level two otherwise the same procedure getting data from uh, GADM that is like the country's admin uh, geographical uh, I mean special data in this case or shape file of the countries uh, admin uh, and we need to load this one then uh, we're going to subset from this data because we load here the zonal data and Sidama at that moment uh, was as a, a zonal administration unit we subset Sidama in this case then we need to plot using GGA plot, I mean GG plot, GG plot, then we give uh, Ethiopia. Now we're only interested to map Ethiopia in this case, uh, Ethiopia, and uh, we feel uh, white, we wouldn't like to give a color as a color like, like maybe gray color or whatever color, but we keep it white. At the same time, we would like to give uh, the uh, zone that we would like to uh, put on. Uh, now, as that moment it was on, we have to give this from the other data here uh, that is in two. Then we select that and then we put rectangle around this, uh, actually our interest area. Then we plot this. So then uh, we finally get data. I mean, output plot here. So this is our output plot. Ethiopia putting a circle, I mean, rectangle around the Sama region here, which is our interest of the area. If you are interested only on this area, uh, I mean, you cut it out and you can plot it as white and uh, and black. But uh, I 
would like to add uh, in this case altitude uh, on uh, I mean Sidama region in this case therefore I uh, expected to uh, load uh, this data I mean like the altitude data of Sedama uh, from uh, actually the same cluster package, giving alt uh, and selecting the country and uh, masking for that particular country. In my case, uh, I mask for Ethiopia and then I further keep masking to my location in this case. So first I need to have data for Ethiopia, altitude data of Ethiopia. Uh, so then I need to probe this data for, for Sedama region, in this case. And uh, then after I have to mask, masking actually keep only data for a particular region size. Therefore, I require only this data and a lot that data. And then after for, for plotting purpose, I need to change this data. It, is actually in raster format in here, and then I have to change it into the uh, uh, data frame format here. So uh, after changing data frame format, I have to plot this data. Like I have X, actually I can see structure of my data format. It has uh, particularly three, see, three variables in my data set. The first one is X as uh, longitude and Y as latitude and uh, filling data at the third uh, component is, is altitude of uh, the region. Then I put the uh, region map on the top of this as a transparent, uh, then uh, color of the altitude also also needed then i put uh, color of the altitude using only like weird b here actually feeling then i have uh, had like the field color field uh, map here uh, only for for sedama region so this is map then I would like to put these two maps because uh, using cowplot, which is a very nice actually uh, package to arrange and to rearrange the, uh, I mean the position and the uh, actually bringing together different their plots. So I have to draw one of the the I mean one of the plot in in the other plot. Particularly, like I would like to put Ethiopia in uh, my steady area plot as as insert normally. So uh, I need to do this, and uh, finally my output will be displayed uh, here. Uh, and uh, plot display area. So this is uh, simply the the map, uh, color with of all Sedama region and nodes arrow and scale over here, uh, bottom left and on the top, the uh, right hand side are inserted uh, normally like Ethiopia map in uh, in the other map. Then uh, I will show you this uh, maybe on the other side by zooming it out. Actually, zoom function is here. While I'm zooming, you cannot see it with this uh, window normally. And then I stop sharing this one and I reshare the other zoomed window. And we can see how nicely the uh, map of Ethiopia are indicating where Dama region is located in red uh, box. And uh, as the major map is, is Dama uh, region here and with the altitude and with the other location parameters. And this is simply how we can uh, load 
our steady area map in R in simple, uh, I mean, simple command lines. So thank you very much.